Let's come to chapter 10 that is Helen Keller. The well stood in the garden at a small distance from the main house. The deaf and blind girl walked along the path to the well, holding her teacher Annie Sullivan's hand. When they reached, the teacher drew her pupil's hand and put it under the water spout, letting the cool stream of the water flow over the girl's hand. Then gently holding the girl's other hand, the teacher pressed her finger into the child's palm and spelled the word water. This simple act opened a whole new world for her intelligent student. This little girl, who was so severely handicapped that she could not understand speech and language, learned thirsty new words that same afternoon. The teacher and her pupil had found a way to overcome Helen's handicaps caps and communicate. This afternoon of April 5, 1887, was the beginning of Helen's triumph over disability that would bring hope for millions of people in the future. From then on, Helen made great progress and her ability to learn was truly amazing considering her double handicap. Annie first taught Helen to read with raised letters then with braille and to write with both ordinary and braille typewriters. After finishing her education, Helen became an activist and spoke out against child labor. She wrote many books and articles on blindness, deafness, solid issues and women's rights. Her most popular book is the story of my life. She met many famous people who admired her courage and received many honors, including the United States Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now come to word meaning. So the meaning of spout means a pipe from which liquid comes out. Stream means any flowing water or liquid. Gently means to do work carefully. Severely means in a great degree. Handicapped means having a disability. Communicate means to give or take message. Activist means a leader who raises voice against injustice. Admired means praised. Now come to comprehension exercises. Come to A. Answer these questions orally. What is the name of the teacher? The name of the teacher is Annie Sullivan. How many new words the blind girl learned? The blind girl learned 30 new, word, 30 new words. Now come to B. Tick the correct option. Teacher spelled the word water to little girl's palm. After finishing her education, Hallam became an activist and spoke out against child labor. Now come to C. Fill in the opposites of the given words. We have to fill the opposite of the following words. Happy, sad, win, loss, shallow, deep, frown, please, cold, hot, buy, sell, thick, Thin, come, go, clever, stupid, disappear, appear. Now come to T. Answer the following questions. 
first one is how did annie sullivan teach helen new words Alan Sullivan hold her pupil Helen's hand and put it under water spout then she pressed the child's palm and spelled the word water in this way she taught the Alan new words how did Helen read and write Annie first taught Helen to read with raised letters then the braille and to read and to write with both ordinary and braille typewriters what did helen do after completing her education after completing the education helen became an activist and spoke out against child labor learn words fill in the missing letters to find the opposites we have to find the opposite of the following words he the opposite of he will be she the opposite of sit will be stand the opposite of little will be big the opposite of hard will be soft the opposite of in will be out now come to learn grammar what are adjectives adjectives are describing words they describe either a person place animal or thing now what we have to do in this we have to underline the nouns and circle the adjectives look at the red rose here red is an adjective rose is a noun what are bright light here bright is an adjective light is a noun can you hear the loud thunder here loud is an adjective whereas thunder is a noun the old man is sleeping here old is an adjective man is the noun the fat rat ran away fat is an adjective whereas rat is a noun eat a sweet mango sweet is an adjective whereas mango is a noun i have a soft pillow soft is an adjective pillow is a noun that's a tall giraffe here giraffe is a noun whereas tall is an adjective like this you have to find nouns and adjectives now come to here learn to talk and listen listen and repeat pen pot parrot pin put bag shop top lip map shop bag bell bun bin butter tub nape cup rub fab pin bin pet 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 bet cup cub nip nib bag bag brun and butter the nib of a pan a bell on a parrot now learn to write here by looking at the picture we have to number the sentences given below in the correct order to tell the story grandmother has a gift for tina and tarik tina and tarik opened the gift and saw it is a story book Tina and Tarik started quarreling over the book. The book tears. They glue the torn pages. Then they learned that we should not do this. Then they started reading together.
Now activity. What we have to do in this? We have to write few sentences about your favorite toy and draw the picture of the same. You have to write few sentences about any of your favorite toy like you can write on your car, on your doll, your kitchen set, anything which you like the most. And then you have to draw the picture.